Hey everyone and welcome back to another dump and go crock pot video. You guys seem to really enjoy these and I enjoy making them. For this one I decided to change it up a little bit and show some different sandwiches that you can make. We all have those nights where we're just like let's do sandwiches and call it dinner. So in this video I'm going to show you a few sandwiches that will take sandwich night up a notch. All of these will be great served with fresh veggies and your favorite chips. Today's video is also exciting because it's a collab with my sweet, sweet friend here on YouTube, Miss Lynn White. I love her so much and I know you guys will love her too. She is a mother of five and she is killing it here on YouTube. She shares cleaning videos, recipes, vlogs, makeovers, a little bit of everything. You're bound to find something that you love over on her channel. But what I love most is that she's relatable. She's down to earth and so sweet. I know you guys will love her. She's going to be sharing a crock pot breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and appetizer today with you guys. I personally can't wait to see it myself. She mentioned in her stories that she's making some Nutella brownies. I'm really excited about that. Her video link will be in my description box below and if you head over let her know that I sent you and if you're coming from Lynn's channel hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you came over. I do a mixture of cooking, cleaning, and motherhood videos over here so if any of that interests you just make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into our first sandwich. This one is very special to me because it was something that my grandmother made every year at Christmas. She would host Christmas at her house and she would make a giant plate of these barbecues. And I seriously don't know what excited me more as a child, the presents or these. So every time I eat one, I think of her. For this, you'll need one Boston butt and you can season it up however you like. But I'm going to throw on some of this Trader Joe's coffee and garlic barbecue rub and a little liquid smoke. I'm also going to be using a crock pot liner for easy cleanup at the end. I know some of you have your opinions about them, so if you choose not to use them, that's perfectly fine. I just prefer them as it makes cleanup so much easier. I just saturated the top really well with both of those and then I cooked it on low for eight hours. Once it was done, I shredded it up and then I'm going to show you the sauce that really makes these. You'll need a half a cup of ketchup, one fourth cup of mayo, about a tablespoon of mustard, and a good tablespoon of celery seed. You can't skip out on the celery seed. It really makes these sandwiches. just going to mix those all together and it should look something like this. Once your sauce is made, you can go ahead and spread a good amount on both sides of your bread. And I'm just using regular hamburger buns for this. You'll put your meat on and then you're just going to grill it up on both sides with some butter on medium low heat. And that is it. I like to use my griddle because it's just faster and I can get a lot more done at one time. Our next sandwich is chicken bacon ranch croissants. All you'll need for this is two boneless skinless chicken breasts, about two tablespoons of powder ranch seasoning, some Colby Jack cheese for topping, and some cooked and crumbled bacon. Starting off with my liner first and then I'm going to place my chicken in and go ahead and sprinkle my ranch powder and bacon right on top. I then cooked it on low for four hours. 
And then once it was done, I just shredded it up with a fork and we served it on croissants, topped it with some Colby Jack cheese. It's so easy and so good. next sandwich is a meatball sub all you're gonna need for these are just some meatballs frozen works completely fine but we did make ours homemade for a good meatball recipe I'll leave a link in my description box to my friends channel serving up simplicity where I actually got the recipe from a jar of spaghetti sauce and some sub rolls the kind I'm using is the private selection brand from Kroger in the Italian garlic and herb flavor you're just gonna place the meatballs in your crock pot and then pour the spaghetti sauce over the top. We're then gonna cook it on low for about two hours. Of course, if you're using frozen meatballs, I would do three to four hours on low. The kids asked to have these over spaghetti pasta, so that's what we made for them. And then for our subs, we just topped them with some mozzarella cheese and that was it, super quick and easy. Next up, we're making the Mississippi Roast, which I've showed on my channel before, except this time, I'm gonna serve it in sandwich form. I've heard several of you say as well that you have had it on sandwiches before and you absolutely loved it. So you're just gonna need a boneless chuck roast, two tablespoons of ranch powder, which also equals one packet, a packet of au gravy mix, a stick of butter, and some pepperoncinis. We're gonna go ahead and place our roast in the crock pot and pour on the ranch and au jus. We're gonna place a few pepperoncinis on top along with some of the juice and then add in our stick of butter. I left this out last time and y'all were sure to let me know. I purposely left it out last time, but I do agree that it makes the roast so much better. So I decided to go ahead and add it in this time. We're gonna cook that on high for about six hours. We started hours on four hours, but ended up adding an additional two hours, cooking it at a total of six hours. Now, once it starts to fall apart like this, it's perfect. So now we can go ahead and assemble our sandwiches using the same sub rolls from the last sandwich. I just placed some of the meat onto the bread and then I topped it with some provolone cheese and that was it. Mississippi roast is my favorite way to make a roast and it was even better in sandwich form. Our very last sandwich is gonna be a sausage dog that reminds me so much of the fair. All you'll need for this is some smoked pork sausage, one green bell pepper, a half of a large yellow onion, or you can go ahead and add in the whole onion if you like a lot of onions. You'll need one stick of butter. I'm just using what we had left in the fridge, which is pretty close to a stick, and some hoagie rolls. So I went ahead and I placed my sausage into the crock pot. I cut up my bell pepper and onion into strips, threw that on top along with my butter and cooked it on high for about three hours, just until the onions and peppers had cooked down. And then we served it on the hoagie rolls with some provolone cheese and some mustard. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to head over to Lynn's channel to see what she made as well. Her link is in my description box. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.